2021 Spicy Ramen Challenge. Hello everyone. Today, me, Ms. Bridget, and Ms. Gomeski are trying the uh, Bulldog Hot Chicken Flavor Ramen Challenge. So, it's gonna be a good one. The ramen's all cooked, now it's just time to uh, <laughs> add the sauce. <laughs> Oh, I'm already full of regret. So oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 this is not good. It's like black. <laughs> That's why the packaging is <laughs> All right, all right. What goodies do we have in here? Oh, that's not too bad. Ooh, a little sesame seed. Okay. Seaweed. That'll give a little mix. Mm. Oh, that's a color. <laughs> that is a color. I think, can you smell that? Can the viewers at home smell that? <laughs> Jeez. First person to grab the milk is the weakest link. <laughs> All right, welcome to the 2021 Spicy Ramen That implies there's gonna be more. After 20 I won't be here for it. <laughs> Other people will do it. <laughs> Our viewers yeah, will nominate the next uh, victim. Alright. We're doing it. We got it. looks and oh. smells spicy. So. Ready? It's a good color. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Oh. Wait for it. Oh, it's spicy. Wait for it. Oh. What's hot? It's hot. <laughs> it's definitely not good. Ooh, and it's so orange. <laughs> Aren't you glad we're doing this? Mm. You I know? Mean, it's good though. It's oddly good. Yeah, it's good. It does feel like heartburn though. All right. So first question from our viewers. Uh, what was college like? Let's see if you can. College was fun. College was really fun. I was so looking forward to the freedoms of college mm -hmm. and not having a curfew. It's hot. <laughs> My stomach is getting high temperature. Mm. But it's so good. <laughs> My stomach is getting high temperature. <laughs> like my abdomen temperature just went up. <clears throat> I thought college was fun. Where did you tell them where you went? Central Michigan. Fire up! Chips. <laughs> and Mr. C Thanks and I both went to U of M. Yes. At the same time. Do you yeah. Know, that's why. When did you, gra you graduate? Uh, 2014. Yeah, so probably 20, right after the yeah. oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Fire up, Chips. <laughs> Mr. McDole graduated a year after me. We were all there at the same time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. that's, cool. that's so weird to think about. Isn't it? McDole and I figured out we were in the same organic chemistry class. <coughs> and didn't know it? Didn't, well, it's like 400 people. Oh. Yeah. So, college was fun. College was hard. I probably didn't work hard enough. So, it leads us to our next question. Biggest college regret? <coughs> um... No, I, I didn't I didn't figure out how to college correctly quick enough um, actually at all during my undergrad um, it was like every every semester it was like a different ch like academic challenge um, I got put on probation three separate times <clears throat> I got put on probation once what? I'm sure no one, none of you guys knew that but I did crazy. yeah yeah so in Michigan if your GPA drops below 2.0 don't would... expose me like that. <laughs> Hey, it happened to me three times. <laughs> um, if your GPA goes below 2.0, you get a letter sent home, and basically, if you don't pick it up the next semester, you know you can get kicked out. And so I did that three separate times. All three times, I picked it up just enough. Like, like if I needed to get up to here, I got exactly up to there the next semester. Mm. Then brought it back down, and so it just I don't know to the point where. You know, my mom even was like, maybe you should, maybe you should take a break. 
which is something that I never thought my mom would say. But I guess after, you know, so many times, it probably makes sense. And I should have listened, but I didn't. So I think actually that, yeah, so that, to answer the question, that's probably one of my biggest regrets is like, even though I did mess up so much, I didn't like, I didn't approach it properly. Like I should have taken a break. Um, I mean, I think I got really lucky. I did end up graduating only one semester late. <clears throat> but I think it would have been better for me to, because I was just like floundering and I had no idea what I was doing. Mm. And it's not like I graduated college like with a job that I was happy with. So like I should have just stopped. What did you get your degree in? Um, statistics with a math minor. Oh. Yeah. Dang, you smart. Mm. <laughs> I, got, I got really lucky <laughs> multiple times. I remember wanting to take a break, but feeling like I couldn't. Mm. I don't know why. I think I like. I don't know if this is getting too deep, but I felt like it. Like a queer. Like if I were to take a break, that would have meant like I'm a failure, or like I couldn't have done it. Well, because no one. But like in about retrospect, yeah. like that totally would have been fine. That's like the healthy thing to do. Right now, like gap years are like trending. Yeah. Right. But I feel like they weren't until after we graduated. Like no yeah. one told me when I was a high school or a college kid that it's okay to take a year off. Like after right after high school, or it's okay to take a year off during college, or it's okay to go to community college first. Mm -hmm. I but, wish someone had said that. Right, like I gone, I went to a really big high school, but I was definitely not ready for a big college like Michigan to have the freedom and stuff that I did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Exhaling is just a moment, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I definitely wish that. I mean, I certainly grew up in a community where like. Like Miss G said, that kind of stuff was frowned upon or just not talked yeah. about at all. Yeah. I feel like my parents would have been mad at me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they actually would have been. They just had that aura. It's disappointing. No, we're not mad, just disappointed. Just disappointed, yeah. yeah. So, I think my, my, sim or my biggest college regret is probably similar to Mr. C. Just wish I like learned from my mistakes, you know? My freshman year, I did a great job and got like mostly A's, but then sophomore year, I had like I worked like 30 hours a week and had a really crazy social life and just like didn't care about classes and like didn't go to class. Don't recommend that. Don't recommend that. <laughs> yeah, and I started getting like C's and I just like I wish I wouldn't have like accepted that and like pushed myself harder. Mm -hmm. And then academic probation was scary. Either of you ever take uh, econ? Mm -hmm. In high school. You know what the law of diminishing returns is? we're experiencing it right now. So yes. For those of you who don't know, the law of diminishing returns is the more you have something, the less you enjoy it. This, <laughs> I'm experiencing that with this ramen right now. Right. Like, it does not taste good anymore. <laughs> That's a good soft boiled egg, though. <clears throat> it is. Thank you. Mr. C really saved us with this soft boiled egg. He did. I I'm all, using it in lieu of the milk right now. I, I ate all of my veg <laughs> right now, so I'm down to just noodles. Just noodles. Do you want some milk, Mr. C? No, not yet. <laughs> okay, so the next question they had for us was, what is our favorite memory from Arbor Prep? Oh. I actually think my favorite memory was uh, when the gator suit was misrecieved. That Where is my gator suit? What? Where is my gator suit? I uh, put it away. Where? Why do you need to know? Well, cause school's starting. But your daughter's daycare's starting. You tell me where my suit is, woman. We're talking about the gator good. Gator good? She's your daughter. She's the greatest good that you're ever gonna get. Mr. C. That, cause it, I was just like a bystander, but like the hype, when you popped out of that gator suit, oh my God, the whole like, Jim so exploded. we got to give them the backstory. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so I was a student teacher because this, this was this was this is gonna be my mem my favorite memory as well. Yeah. Well, I was a student teacher three years ago now, and I only student taught for first semester. And what, as I got closer to the end of my student teaching, um, I started looking for jobs. I was applying to different places. So I, was, like, I finished my student teaching, and I was looking for a job and. Um, I had actually asked Miss Grant, the principal at the time, for advice on how to interview, and she did a practice interview with me, um, which was really, really nice of her. Um, and she gave me a lot of pointers on how to, you know, how to do a good interview. 
uh, as a teacher. And <clears throat> um, she knew that I had gone to interview at some places, and then the week after, she came up to me one day during tutoring, and she said, hey, if you're interested, uh, you can stay here, and we'll have a position open for you. And I pretty, I'm pretty sure I, I like on the spot was like, was like, yeah, this is what like I would love to be here. And so, um, me and Miss Johnson, my mentor teacher, we came up with this plan. We asked Miss, we literally asked Miss Grant, like, can we hold a fake assembly, <laughs> and we'll surprise everyone, and I'll come back. And so I was in the gator suit during the assembly, and Miss Grant said that, oh yeah, we have a new staff member. And then that's when I took off the... Yeah. <coughs> the gym went crazy. crazy. <laughs> that's probably my favorite memory. It was just like this like pure moment of like community, which was amazing. Mm. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, that was, that was so crazy. It was. <laughs> and like the staff didn't know either. We were like, who is this? Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, like, yeah. Hanging out, like. I, wonder what, I wonder what Johnson was thinking the whole time. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I knew. I feel like I did. You might have, maybe. If, at that time, if there was someone else who knew, it was you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like I knew. But it was so hype. <clears throat> Je Jenea that morning came into went, went into Johnson's room and she looked under the table, like the one that I sat at. She's like, "Oh my gosh, she's actually gone." Oh. And then and then we had the assembly. <laughs> yeah. Because you weren't in school for the day, right? Uh, I was. I, I I I was the first person in the building. I had to come so early, and I was hiding in the gym <laughs> That's right. all morning. Um, Callaway was like coming in out of the gym and I was like, this is so creepy of me. Cause I was like hiding in the room. Just, by just, yourself. just like watching him through the cracks. I was like, he's over here. <laughs> I didn't know that part. That's funny. Yeah, I've never told I you. hope Callaway <laughs> sees this part of the yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite memory? Um, I don't know. I probably have to agree. I think that was really like good for school. Well, guys. <laughs> I mean, it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. It was all downhill from there. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now we're here ever since then. Yeah, you're getting fat. What can I say? <laughs> Looks like I might be the spice champ. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing they want to know is what's our favorite part about being a teacher. And don't say summer's off, because that's cliche. <laughs> True. I feel like that's the one I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> right? I, I loved high school. Like so much, I loved everything about being in high school, um, and I think just to be back in this environment, but like on the other side, really helps me to see, like, wow, I screwed ar I screwed around a lot as a student, um, and <laughs> wow, I really appreciate like what like my teachers did for me, and mm -hmm. you know, th there are a handful of teachers that I still keep in touch with from high school, um, and they've had such a profound impact on my life, and so what I like being about a teacher is, you know, if I can be that person for even like one student, <clears throat> like that's cool. Like that's that's awesome. Yeah. That's good. Um I think I mean I did not always want to be a teacher. I didn't I was getting a different degree my first year to college. But then I took this cool class about like how science is taught in schools and it just like that just like I don't know enveloped me. I just became like obsessed with teaching young people science because mm. I didn't realize that there was like all this diff this like tension and difference about how it's taught and I just was like I want to make it better mm. so I now just, you have yeah well thanks <laughs> I just really like teaching science so <sighs> I love it word I think for me just like the moments when like students see that they can do it mm. the breakthrough the breakthrough that's a good moment. Because a lot of y'all come to us thinking y'all can. And we're just here to show you you can. The bottom is spicier, right? Yep, because that's where all yeah, the... the like oil. Because I feel like I'm almost done, but now I'm struggling. <laughs> None of us have had a drink of milk. Perhaps so wait, like, us. if I finish this and I have a drink of milk, I still win because I finished it first, right? Yeah. But he's trekking over there, so you better watch out. Oh my gosh, you're so <laughs> annoying! <laughs> Get through this last bit. Very good. Last question is 
piece of advice. Fake. <laughs> Other than don't eat spicy ramen, piece of advice. Yeah, don't do this. Ooh, it is spicy. Kill yourself. <laughs> What'd you say? Kill yourself. <laughs> Inspirational. It's very deep. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> love. Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. And display bullish. it in your home. Believe, and then you will achieve. Uh, Go forth and succeed. Ooh, I would say, I always say. I would say, surround yourself or put yourself in a place where you have a community that's going to build you up. Because it's really, really hard to get through life on your own. Too personal. Yeah. Sorry. And um, I think that. I don't know, like what, I, I feel like life is not worth going through on your own, and so, you know, it's not just about like finding, you know, that someone or whatever, but it's just like, just having a community. Friends, that you good can, people. That you know that you can count on, and mm -hmm. the people that can count on you, because that's a, that makes a big difference in your, in your own personal life. Um, don't overthink. When opportunity knocks, just say yes. Give it a shot. You are, uh, you'll have more amazing experiences than you could have dreamed of mm. if you pay attention to what's going on in front of you. That's my advice. You guys like empty empty your bowl? Yeah, girl. How? <coughs> I'm not proficient with chopsticks. I can't do that. <laughs> in, uh, what do you guys think? 2.0? 2.5? <laughs> <laughs> in, in Chinese culture, it said that if you don't clean your bowl, you're going to have an ugly spouse. Well, I'm already married, so I can leave <laughs> so, this thing. It is, it is, you're good. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. I just come, I wake up tomorrow and I'm like, what happened? He's like a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> so I think my advice is something I'm trying to learn right now. The secret to success is in strong daily routines. Oof. When you don't have good daily routines, you just feel like a hot mess. So I shouldn't stay up till two watching Netflix. You shouldn't stay up till two. Man. Let's be real. You shouldn't stay up till six a.m. watching Netflix, people. <laughs> I don't think I can finish the rest of this little. Stuff. Yes, you can. I'm just gonna have an ugly spouse. <laughs> Fine. Friends watching this. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. I actually feel okay right now. I I feel okay up here. Yeah. Down here, not great. this is not, yeah, uh -huh. I'm not feeling great right now. Not good. <clears throat> this is going to be my last fight. It did feel better than I thought. I thought this was I thought it was even worse. I thought it was even way worse. Way worse. I mean, it's hot. Don't get me wrong. But would I, I do think... this again? Probably not. 2022, find someone. <laughs> well, I would never just, like, buy that. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what like, I'm saying. Who, like, like eats it? Did yeah. you guys drink your milk yeah. yet? Not yeah, yet. we already had some. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we, we did it. Cheers of milk. Yeah, How about cheers that? of milk. All right, to the spicy ramen challenge of 2021. Woo!